What's good my G's, it's your boy Snow, ignorant gamers in the house, how you doing, how you living, how you gaming, of course if you don't already know, G stands for gamers, I want to cut the formalities for a moment and get into this, and uh, <clears throat> Scalebound, the Xbox One exclusive, has been cancelled today by Microsoft, now if you don't know who was developing the games, this is a very sad thing for me, uh, forget about the fanboy wash for shit like for, for real just forget about that for a second if you think this is clickbait like please exit um platinum games was the developers behind this and if you don't know who platinum games is i want to tell you <laughs> really quickly they have one game coming out called near automata which is on the playstation 4 demo store right now they've done teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant it in Manhattan recently which is a 50-50 game Star Fox Zero they did a great job someone stuck their hands in there to do them BS motion control so therefore it looks bad on them Transformers Devastation I love band at a 1 and 2 legendary the wonderful 101 if you own a Wii U you already know what time that is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance amazing game Mad World which is a Wii the Wii exclusive the original Wii amazing game and Vanquish. Now there's a few other games in there that they also done that I don't know nothing about but Vanquish was a sleeper game. Oh my god. If you have a PC go get it. If you still got your P3 or P360 uh, go get it. Go play it. Now with that said for me the problem that I was having was I had removed myself from RPG games and then my Wii U one of the reasons why the Wii U was purchased was because Xenoblade Chronicles X and I was kind of praying that I would fucking enjoy the game because I just not had the 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 mental you know the mental attention span for it and it worked so much so that I was just like damn you know let me try something else and I tried a few demos of other games and it wasn't working all right cool maybe Xenoblade is the exception somehow I finally ran into South Park that worked now it's not ARP but the fact that I was able to get through that, that entire game meant something to me. So I started looking forward to, well, what else is coming out? Final Fantasy? I ain't been a Final Fantasy fan for a long time, so I wasn't looking at it. And Nino Kuni on the P3 was amazing. It's coming to the P4, which we already know now. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'm going to do that. I wasn't expecting anything else. And my boy jumped up, stepped up to the plate, was like, my boy Junior, shout out to Junior. He was like, no. You're gonna fucking play Final Fantasy because I'm gonna give you Final Fantasy and I'm just like damn And guess what? It's good. It's so good to the point where it made my anticipation for Scalebound even more because one of the things that my friends are talking about the most is that you know the lack of co-op play in the Final Fantasy. Now I don't really care about that because I don't know Final Fantasy to do that. But Scalebound was going to have four player co-op as an action RPG. And that was intriguing to me because, you know, yes, I do have an Xbox One and I have some some people who who would down to play that kind of shit and have a triple A experience in that kind of world was going to be great. And on top of it, I'm a huge fan of Platinum Games. Now, I don't love all their games. I like a lot of their games and I love a few of their games but I always love the art style and the controls of what they do minus that Star Fox bullshit but um you know it it, it just kind of hurts and I know we're not gonna get a straight answer you know the game has been delayed I didn't know the game was being worked on for four years uh, I did say a while ago when they showed us the game I was like they shouldn't show that and I do remember certain group of fanboys jumping in and making comments and like oh what was Sony showing and I said yo these games aren't coming and since then Fable has been killed and now Scalebound has been killed and the Fable thing sucks because for Microsoft fans who only own the Xbox now you don't have that game and then Project Spark which was also supposed to help with Conquer and something else now you don't have that game and now it's like okay Scalebound which would have been a nice exclusive to, for them to have because they're not getting a few other of uh, these other uh, games because of these BS exclusives that have been good to play now me I don't care because I, I got I got most systems and even if I didn't have most systems I'd be at Ramon crib playing the scale bound shit like yo son move over like you and your girl are gonna have to go on vacation so I can so I can hold down this Xbox real quick you know what I mean because I just wanted to play it 
and um you know i i think this sucks for for uh, obviously the xbox community but just you know gamers everywhere because scalebound was looking like it was going to be something uh i was hoping that it'd be arpg like xenoblade because xenoblade kind of failed in a co-op uh, I was thinking it was going to be epic, like Final Fantasy ba boss battles and shit, or something like Monster Hunter. Shout out to my boy Wes the Ruler. He keeps, he stay trying to get me to play that fucking game. Wes, cut your shit, bro. I'm not playing that fucking game. And, um, you know, I, I, I just really, really wish we had some kind of solid idea, but who knows? Probably differences of opinion. If they've been doing this for four years, it's the year 2017, which means it was really started in 2012, 2013. They probably changed the engine a couple times to fit with what it was going to be. Maybe it was originally scoped to three, be a 360 game, or maybe it was me and scoped on the original version of the Xbox and now they try to Xbox One and they try to move it to the Scorpio. Who knows? We'll never know. Um, but you know, hopefully this game isn't 100% dead. At the end of the day, they said it came down to business decisions, which means they felt like, it, it, it means a lot of things. Maybe they didn't feel like it would take because the Microsoft Xbox community don't do well with JRPG games and games like that. The only ones that actually do well is fucking Final Fantasy. The rest of them don't make it. That's why Atlas don't put games like that. You don't see Persona over there or anything else like that. So, um, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But I, I, I could be totally wrong about that. Um, but I, I do hope the game comes back. If you guys were looking forward to it, let me know. If you guys didn't know about it, <laughs> whew, man, I should probably put some links in the description. Um, but anyway, Platinum Games, like I said, they're making a game called Neo Automata. I've spoke about that. Link in the description below it's in the cards in the upper right whatever figure that out it's on the channel and also got gameplay for it your boy snow ignore gamers and i'm out peace